The CCC reported 14 local COVID infections and 51 imported cases on Thursday. It also reported one COVID-related death of a patient who arrived on a medical flight from Vietnam in December. 11 of the local infections have been traced back to a bank in Taoyuan's Zhongli district, which was visited by a previously identified COVID case on January 4th. She had spent one hour at the bank and had pulled down her mask to speak on the phone during her visit. The CECC added 11 cases to an outbreak at a Taoyuan bank. The cluster now involves 14 people. The bank clerk who attended to her is case number 17630. From the security camera footage, we saw that while case number 17472 was waiting for her turn and while she was at the counter, she pulled her mask down to speak on the phone. Case number 17630 had a mask on at all times. So the client pulled her mask down to speak on the phone. Was that how the infection happened? It's an important clue as we try to determine the path of transmission. It is also not not entirely impossible to transmit Omicron via objects and by touching things. This strain's high transmissibility makes it very hard to stop it with just one approach. The bank and its surroundings have been disinfected and all close contacts have been put in isolation. A total of 3,013 people who visited the bank from January 4th to 11th have been asked to get tested as soon as possible. Test sites have been set up near the bank. <laughs> Clients of the bank, residents of the area, and students at the nearby Jenshin University of Science and Technology were seen lining up for tests on Thursday. The bank client, who works as a home carer, had also infected a friend of hers. On Thursday, two of her friend's family members were also diagnosed with COVID while in isolation. Also on Thursday, officials reported a case at Taipei City Hospital's Renai branch following an outbreak at the hospital's Zhongxing branch. After receiving a booster on January 11th, the nurse in question developed a fever of 38.4 degrees, a slight headache and a runny nose. A COVID test came back positive on January 12th. The nurse has already been admitted for hospital treatment, so basically there was no risk posed to the community. We need to increase the testing frequency for medical staff, inpatients and the ward environment. The other thing is compartmentalizing the hospital space so that staff don't mix and open up opportunity for cross-infection. The Renai branch has transferred out its inpatients and disinfected the floor where the infected nurse was stationed. To identify vulnerabilities in the hospital's COVID care system, city officials and the CECC are investigating the outbreak. The infected nurses at these two city hospitals have been caring for patients with mild or no symptoms. None of these patients required complex medical intervention. As for whether the issue was in the removal of protective gear, we can't see the situation that had transpired, but there will be reviews of the SOP. The infected nurse resides in New Taipei's Tuchin district. Local officials have publicly disclosed the locations of the nurse's recent activity in the community.